Thank you, Peter. Thanks for making the time for us. I'm just going to take about five minutes because I can't go through everything that we do, but I just want to introduce you to the idea of the kinds of things we do. And then if you've got issues, come to us and let us see if we can help you. So the middle of last year after the election, the Premier appointed Yasmin King as the New South Wales Small Business Commissioner. Yasmin is fantastic. She's not at all like a public servant and she's totally shaking up the government in terms of initiatives for small business. So people come to us and they say this is the problem we have. We have this problem with big business, we have this problem with government, we have this problem with another small business. We have three main things that we do. We do advocacy, and that really means primarily that if laws are going through, we have a say about how these laws might impact small businesses. So if you guys have a view about that, please let us know, because we only know what we know. We don't know what you guys know, and you're the experts on your situations. So we, we comment on law. We comment on things that are happening. We attend lots of different meetings. For example, we're facilitating a meeting next week between farmers, dairy farmers, producers, <coughs> distributors, and the big um, Coles and Woolworths about the, the milk wars to try and find a way through the problems that are occurring for the small businesses, the dairy farmers on the ground. So yesterday I was in Wagga and I was helping some local small businesses who had problems with councils because of roadworks and because of zonings. So we do all kinds of things like that. We have a voice for the small businesses who are having a problem getting through and cutting through things on their own. They also do a lot of work with red tape. So if you've got any red tape issues, please come to us. The area that I run is called dispute resolution, and so we take over 7,000 telephone calls a year, and we help people with procedural and strategic information. We help them work through their problems. We try and empower people to work out their problems for themselves. Sometimes you can't work out your own problem because the other person doesn't want to talk to you. So we do informal dispute resolution, which is where we call the other side and we say, hmm, small business commissioner is a bit concerned about this. Let us help you guys sort it out. And we get a lot of attention that way and we get a lot of resolutions. We also do formal dispute resolution where we have formal mediations, we all sit down at the table and we come to a, a deal almost all of the time. Over 80% of the time, we can get a deal for the parties to work through their problem, documented, legally binding, and they have it sorted out on the day. And it costs, we're the formal mediation we charge because we have really great mediators that do the work for less than $1,000. That's versus $20,000, $250,000 to go through a formal legal process. So it's a fantastic initiative. And we, we feel really happy with the changes that we can make for small business. Then we've got another initiative. It's only just been announced, I think it was announced last week, and it's called Small Biz Connect. And that's where we have um, business advisory services throughout the state. And these people are well-experienced business people. They have lots of resources. They're really smart, really practical, and they help businesses start, run, or grow their business. And so if you know of small businesses that need some help just moving to the next level or getting their, their stuff sorted out so that they can increase employment or increase their scope, we've got advisors that help. And initially, the, um, the access is free. And then they say, OK, well, what do we need to do? And there might be a small charge ongoing, but they pre provide like a mentorship. So we've got lots of initiatives. We like to help people. And if we can help you, let us know. So the way to come to us is um, I had some cards, but when I went home on Monday night, I left them on my kitchen bench. So I'm sorry about that. I do have some business cards. So if you've got any questions in the break, I'll give you a card. But if you go to our website, which is small business, one word, smallbusiness.nsw, gov.au or send us an email and it's just we, we dot assist at smallbusiness.nsw.gov.au and we'll see what we can do to help you. Thanks for your time.